مفيش مايكل جوردن Good morning from Istanbul. My name is Dadi and Lenza is behind the camera and we are Dots on a Map. If you're new here, we travel around the world and eat lots of different foods. Today we are in the neighborhood of Karakoy. It's on the Asian side of Istanbul. And as you can see around me, there is a market. We're gonna be walking around and trying a lot of street food and other traditional Turkish eats. So you definitely wanna stick around. All right, let's go. going to go into this pickle shop that has been here since 1935. Take a look around, maybe sample a few things. I think we could try some pickle juice. So let's go check it out. Man, they pickle everything in here. So there's bulbs of garlic, pickles, peppers, tomatoes. It smells really good in here. I'm excited. And it's beautifully laid out as well, so colorful. Look, you can literally get like a whole pickled quarter cabbage head over here. We're gonna try some pickle juice. You can see them in the dispensers over there. Pickle juice and turnip juice. You can see it's this really rich, kind of hot pinkish red color. I haven't eaten yet this morning, so this is my breakfast right here. <laughs> Mmm, it's good. It's not too aggressive at all. Like there's obviously a bit of acidity, but it's a pretty smooth drink overall. I could drink more than a shot. <laughs> so we got in an assortment of pickles so I can continue on my fermented breakfast and we've got in a different selection of things. As you saw earlier, they have a huge variety. So we've got in, um, here's some okra, there's some pickled tomatoes in here. Um, there's these really interesting stuffed pickles. So this is eggplant stuffed with cabbage and there's also, it looks like cabbage stuffed with cabbage um, and just a variety of things. So I'm gonna try a few of them out. And I'll start with the eggplant because that's very interesting to me. I've never had a pickled eggplant before. You can see it's a pretty hearty bite. Cheers. Moving on to some pickled cabbage. Mm. That's got a really nice crunch to it. Mm. I love pickled cabbage because it reminds me of eating stinky tofu in Taiwan. They serve it fried with pickled cabbage in the middle. That tastes really similar. It's really tasty. We're gonna take our little box to go and move on and, and show you around a little bit more. Something to note, all the vendors at these markets and just the streets themselves are incredibly clean. I'm standing next to a bunch of fish, but it doesn't smell at all. And this cleanliness is something that's been consistent all across Turkey, with the exception of a few bathrooms around the Grand Bazaar, honestly. It seems like Turkish folk really value just cleanliness and organization, and we've just been really impressed everywhere we've gone. And then I proceed to get rejected by cats that I desperately want to be friends with. Hi, tiny boy. You're so small. We found another cutie. They're everywhere. Let me. It's okay, sweetheart. <laughs> A couple minutes away from the market, Katakui starts to feel very hipster with its colorful murals, coffee shops, craft beer bars, and streets teeming with young people. You could be forgiven for thinking that you've ended up in Brooklyn. We are at a restaurant called Pide Sun, and they specialize in pide, which is a traditional Turkish flatbread with various fillings and toppings. It's really similar to a pizza. It's just shaped kind of differently. And the really cool thing about this place is you get to watch the cooking process and the assembly process of the different pide. So we've ordered a few and we're really excited to try them. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> you slap the dough. <laughs> okay, flip it back. Okay, clearly I'm very good at this. Like this. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Once the dough is shaped and toppings added, the pide is put into a hot stone oven, and there is absolutely no skimping on the shredded cheese. We've gotten our pide. So this one right here um, is a combo of meat, veggie, and cheese. You can see little chunks of beef here. There's tomato and pepper, and lots and lots of shredded melted cheese, and this amazing over easy egg that is baked on top of it, and you can really see that jiggle. Um, this one over here is a little bit more simple, though no less delicious, I'm sure. There's chunks of potato, brown shredded cheese on top, and of course, the over easy egg with the satisfying jiggle. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go for the meat, veggie, and cheese one, and let me just break this yolk. There's a child in distress over here. <laughs> oh yeah. This is looking really, really good. It's fresh baked right from the oven to the table. Mm. Mm. The flatbread is really crunchy and fresh. The egg yolk on top is amazing. It tastes really similar to a pizza. But, mm. So good. All right, moving on to the potato and cheese. I'm gonna break that yolk again. I love that. How good does that look? Okay, get a good bite. The potato looks really crunchy. Okay, cheers. Oh. <laughs> I love this one. So the potato is a little bit crispy on the outside. When you start chewing, it gets the consistency of like delicious, creamy mashed potatoes. The cheese is really rich and of course the egg yolk just, ah, it's so good. It's really, really good. I love this one. Hi, vocal girl. We are at Boutme EV. It's a very casual restaurant, and we've ordered a gazleme, which is a Turkish crepe of sorts with various fillings. And we've also ordered a monti, which is a traditional Turkish dumpling. So this restaurant is very cool because you can see the women making the gazleme right out in the open. You see them kneading the dough, rolling it out, and it's, it's really nice. I like it a lot. We have gotten the Monty. It came out really, really fast. And it's little dumplings with meat and they cover it with yogurt. I think it's like a garlic yogurt and some of this chili oil, it looks like. They're looking really, really good. This one specifically also has little bits of minced meat. 
meat mixed in. So I'm gonna get myself a nice bite. I love dumplings of all forms, so cheers. Mmm. Mmm. The dumplings are really warm. They're stuffed with bits of meat. And the yogurt adds a nice acidic tanginess. And the chili oil isn't too spicy, but it's really flavorful, really good. You definitely have to try these when you're here. Mm. On to our gosleme, which has now arrived. They cook it right on that grill, and you can see it's nice and charred and crispy on the outside. We've gotten ours with some Turkish sausage, some spinach, and feta cheese. Mmm. So good. The feta is tangy. The sausage tastes a little bit like chorizo, and the spinach is warm and soft. And of course, the dough is super fresh. They make it right here, grill it on the spot. It's just like piping hot, delicious, comforting. Really, really good. It's my turn to try it. Mm. This one is the best. The best one I've tried so far. I mean, we've been eating here for two weeks. Maybe our move. <laughs> Time to eat some intestine. <laughs> Getting some kokorech. It is lamb or goat intestine wrapped around offal, so like heart, lungs, etc. So you see them roasting on this horizontal spit. So kind of the stringy outside, that's the intestine, and inside is where that offal's at. So let's give this a go. <laughs> So we've just basically looked at a photo and pointed at what we want. So not exactly sure what we're in for, so we're gonna watch and prepare it right now. In the adventure that is ordering food without understanding the language, we did not get the kokorech. This is a portion of halka. So after a little Google Translate action um, with one of the employees here, it seems that it is lamb gut. And Google Translate says it's the sleeper part of the lamb. So not really sure what that means. If you know, please do let us know in the comments and I'm just gonna give it a try and wing it over here. So you can see it's really crispy, slow roasted meat on the outside. And in the inside, it's just like a circle of fat here is what it looks like. So you can see, seems like lean meat and fat. So let's give this a go. It's sprinkled with some oregano, some chili, and served with fresh tomato and grilled chili. Interesting texture. It looks pretty PG. Like it looks like lean meat to me. Cheers to not knowing what you're eating. Mm. Interesting. 
Like it almost tastes like lean meat, but not quite. It's significantly more gamey. And the oregano really adds like a bitterness to the whole experience. Thank you so much. And that, my friends, is the kokorech that we meant to order to begin with. So yeah, I don't know if it's for me, but I would recommend giving it a try anyway. It might actually be the same thing. <laughs> YouTube friends, please help us out here. Is this just a different cut of the same thing? So is Helka kokorech and is kokorech Helka? Help us out here, because that's what it looks like. I'm pretty sure this is the same thing. Mm. It's decent. Like I said, it's not necessarily for me, but I'm glad I tried it anyway. And now we just have a boatload of kokorech to work with. <laughs> okay, Lenza is trying the Helka. What do you think? I like it's pretty good. Tastes like barbecue meat. A little bit fattier, but it's really good. I like it. Oh. <laughs> When I tell you that cats run Istanbul, I'm not kidding. Like, look at this orange cat just straight chilling right here in the window display of a lingerie shop of all things. <laughs> We've taken a seat at Mado Dessert Shop to wrap up the day with something sweet. Teşekkürler. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to show you some traditional Turkish desserts before signing off for the day. So we've ordered two baklava and these are pieces of traditional Turkish ice cream. Um, they're a little bit different from ice cream as we know it in the US. They're made with goat's milk usually. And also they include like starch from an orchid root, which gives it a slightly different texture. We've covered baklava in a previous video. It's made from layers of phyllo pastry, which makes it really crispy. There's also pistachios and honey. And they've given us a fork and a knife. So I think that's how we're supposed to eat this. And we have a friend. Hello, honey. The stray dogs here are huge and they're usually very gentle and friendly. See, he kind of just came over, sniffed around and left us alone. <laughs> It's very uh, usual to the experience eating outside here in Istanbul. I'll try the ice cream first. Cheers. Mmm. It's really good. It's super rich. Like it basically tastes like pure frozen cream. And there's a little smoothness to the texture from the starch that's really distinctive. It's not too sweet. Yeah, it's essentially frozen heavy cream, which you can't go wrong with. Now I'm gonna try a piece with the baklava. And you can see just the layers of phyllo pastry here. Cheers. Ooh, here's right. <laughs> <laughs> I have super sensitive teeth, so it hurts a little bit for me to bite the ice cream, but the baklava is really good. It's really crispy on the outside, but then soft on the inside and a bit gooey from that honey, and this one is very sweet. Mm, not a bad way to end the day. Thank you so much for joining us on this food tour of Karakoy in Istanbul, Turkey. We hope you liked it. Please hit the subscribe button below. We would really appreciate it and we will see you next time. Ciao.